Hi guys, Micro here. This is my loot from 100 Giant Mimic. The loot was actually better than expected, and I thought it was going to be a lot worse than what I actually got. So let's get right into this video. Teleport to the Giant Mimic, yes. We want to do the highest tier one, so that's number four. I thought I'd just talk through the Mimic's abilities if you wanted to try this out yourself. The worst ability that the Mimic has, in my opinion, is where he jumps in the air. He then lands where you're standing. So you just need to run as soon as he jumps in the air. When he lands, he will not land anywhere near you. You can also bladed dive or surge away. That works too. The second ability the Mimic can do is a charge. He like shakes. And when he shakes, if you sidestep him just as he's about to charge, he won't hit you. If you don't feel like you've sidestepped in the right time, just bladed dive or surge again and you'll be fine. The other ability that he has is he opens his mouth super wide. He fires out three different shots of coins. Just continuously run around the mimic and the coins won't hit you. They always go to the place where you're standing as they get shot. The only other thing that the mimic does at specific intervals, at 105k HP, he'll spawn two little mimics and shield himself. You need to kill these two little mimics and don't attack the mimic yourself because he'll heal with any damage you deal to him. The Mimics also give him 400 HP each every so often. Once the Mini Mimics are dead, you can go back onto the Giant Mimic and DPS him down. He does the exact same ability at 53k HP. This means you stop attacking him and go on the Mimic so you don't heal him and he doesn't get healed too much. Kill those little Mimics as fast as possible. You have two and a half minutes to kill the Mimic. It's quite easy to do it in this time if you have decent gear. But with bad gear, killing these Mimics and stuff like that as fast as possible is really, really helpful to kill times. If you don't kill him in the two and a half minutes, you have to restart the fight. Restart fight. Look at that. Restart fight. Yes. Boom. Did it. Collect our loot. Easy peasy. That's lovely. Uh, first one gives us a Sayer VIP ticket. We got a Scrimshaw of Aggression. Okay, next one. We got a, a Spirit Diamonds. Uncut Dragonstones. Spirit Scrimshaw of Aggression. Uncut Dragonstones. Uh, this is not good. The items you're looking for from the loot boxes include Scrimshaw of Sacrifice, Scrimshaw of Corruption. The Scrimshaw of Aggressions are decent too. The tokens are okay. They're 50 to 100k for the most part. But if you get rare tokens, they're over 10 mil each right now. But you cannot get the cape or the plushie from these. You get it as an additional drop. So I know that I definitely didn't get any capes or plushies. So you just got to hunt for those good items and hopefully you don't get too many spirit diamonds. Shard of Chaos. That's a good one. That's 12 mil. We did it. We got something good. We actually got something okay. Yay. All right. We actually get to sell that. Decent, decent, decent. All right. Shard of Despite weapon token. 19 mil. Is that another good bow? Yeah, boy. All right. I'll take it. Mimic Helm. How much is it? 29k. I got excited. Okay, it sold over mid. 12 win. Well, that, that is literally mid price it sold for. Sold for literally mid price. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. We'll break down those into the Scrimshaw of Sacrifice and Aggression, which should give us more money. Scrimshaw of Sacrifice, sell these. Okay, they all sold. How much did they sell? Just under mid. 1 win, 2 mil each. Not bad. This token sold for a mil, which is actually pretty damn epic. That token sold for 12.1, and these ones sold for 100k each. This one didn't sell for 15 mil, so if we stick it in for 10 mil, if it doesn't sell, I'll be a little bit sad. Oh, it sold? How much? 10 mil, pretty much. Okay, so we got 10 mil from this token as well. 763k for the Uncut Dragonstones. We sold those tokens for 50k each. I'm pretty happy with that, and we got five Mimic Kill tokens back. As always, doing a loot breakdown at the end of the video. I was getting 25 to 28 kills an hour. It's 12k per token, so it's 12k per kill to kill the Mimic. 100 kills took me just under 4 hours and obviously cost me 1.2 mil, so that'll be factored into the calculation. The profit in basic loot with no expensive tokens was 12.3 million GB. That was the scrimshaws, the small tokens, the coins, everything like that. This was 3.1 million GP an hour if we say it took me four hours. The profit in total with the two expensive tokens that I got that sold for like 23 mil, that was 36 million GP. That's the equivalent of 9 mil GP an hour, which is actually insane. On top of this loot, I got 12 Sayer VIP tickets and 33 Spirit Diamonds. 
Spirit Diamonds are very, very helpful for summoning training, and Slayer VIP tickets should always be used when doing Slayer. But the thing is, if a lot of people do this, those big tokens are gonna crash, right? So it won't be as good money. I took a look at the table on the wiki, and I know the wiki is not always like amazingly correct, but the rarest thing from the boxes seems to be the Mimic Helm. And I managed to get one of those in 100 kills as well. Then when it comes to the tokens, it looks like the tokens are all similar rarity. This means you just have to kind of get lucky and get the right tokens and they'll be worth more than, you know, the junk ones. So you get a lot of coins and yeah, I got 33 spirit diamonds out of all of them. That's definitely common. That's a third of my parcels were spirit diamonds. But even with Scrimshaw, Regression, Sacrifice and Corruption being uncommon rarity, going for those just for some consistent money and hopefully hitting something big. It could mean that even if the tokens crash from like 10 to 12 mil down to like four to five, you're still gonna make a good five, six mil an hour, which isn't too bad for a boss like the Mimic. Better than I expected and it was very interesting to do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Do give it a like if you did enjoy. Remember, you may get very unlucky and not get any of the rare tokens and only make three mil an hour. RNG is what it is. And until next time, see ya.